Oh. Now to take the copper out. Yeah, that scrap washer, no good. Transmission berries are gone. So I'm taking the magnets out of here. They're pretty cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Cool magnets. We'll just chisel it away and get the magnets out. Good to hang stuff on my uh, steel wall there. So yeah, I got that copper coil. Guess I'll unwind, take these all out. I don't know how, but we'll figure it out. This is my first time taking the skater out of a washer. All right, let's take these magnets out. What you giving? That's how we live it. Don't be mad at the system. It's simply how we've existed. All right, we've got all the magnets. I'll clean them off so I don't get jabbed with any sharp points. So yeah, magnets. Oh, there's another sharpie there. Another magnet. Oh, another magnet. We got magnets and copper. It's gonna work out just fine, guys. Check this out. How can you beat this? Look at that. Great for the workshop, guys. So when you take one of these front load washers apart, take the magnets out. Just take the magnet there, hammer. Oh my God, it holds a hammer. Freaking awesome. <laughs> Phew, that's pretty cool. But so everybody's gonna start doing this once they take one of these apart. I wonder if anyone else thought of this. And if you got more weight, right? If you got more weight, just double them up, right? Watch your fingers. So if you, got, oh, if you got more weight, just put two magnets. Let's see if it'll hold this heavy lock. Oh my God, that's brilliant, me? That's brilliant. I must say that's brilliant. Let's put a few more up here. Magnets. This is my workshop, right close to the door. That's it, guys. I think that'll be my thumbnail. All right. Like and subscribe, guys, if you like my ideas. Got some scrap on my truck. I figured I'd do a scrap run, throw the truck up before I get to the scrap yard. Maybe get some more weight here. Don't see anything yet. Actually, I found a little rack. I don't want to record these people. But yeah, not much on the street this time of day. People have already picked it up. I haven't found one thing yet. I don't believe it. Scrapper's a full force at a 295 metric ton. I'm sure they're out here at nighttime. Not even one thing. Wow. All right, guys. Cora Mac here. Just want to give you guys some prices here, some updates. Probably doesn't affect you where you are, but just to give you reference. I just brought in the stainless steel sink I had. So total weight, I had 260 pounds. Stainless steel sink paid me 285 plus $38 for my weight for 250 pounds. So a total of, where are we here? 38 bucks. Not too bad. All right, that's for the what prices for copper are because I got my copper at home, my brass. I don't want to bring it in until the prices go up a bit more. So she gave me a list, guys. You guys can pause and go through this if you want. I'll go slow so you can see the prices here, what we're getting. She marked number two copper for me, 450 a pound. Number one is 480. Oh, hang on. All right, you guys can look through it. All the prices here, guys. I'll go slow. All right. Oh, we missed this side here. Alright guys, 
there you go there's our prices here in Ontario Canada you guys can pause it you want to look at the prices but that's what we're getting all right guys Carmack one like and subscribe guys